Hey y'all, uh, over at uh, Brother Rich's place today, uh, using his uh, disc sander and, and uh, belt sander, getting our uh, spindles worked up. Uh, we cut everything out and drilled them first for with our 10 millimeter hole, made sure the uh, kingpin was straight and good and good and tight in there, and then you know marked everything off. And we're trying to replicate uh, what was what was on the card originally. Um, we're going to try to use the uh, uh, brake caliper mount that was on the old spindle, the original spindle. So um, that's, you remember those real tiny little uh, diameter rotors on the front. Um, we get any of this wrong, the width, the width of these wrong, um, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to botch that all up. Um, put that, that caliper in a position um, that it's not, you know, not accustomed to a little a little too fat and it's a little further away that's okay not fat enough and and then the caliper is going to rub on the outside diameter of the rotor and we're going to set all that up before we tack it all together and weld it but um we're, tr we're trying to save ourselves some trouble so we went ahead and and cleaned up uh both of these uh you got a right and her left and then we have uh, using brother kenny uh little fixtures that he uh that he made up when he built his car appreciate that brother kid um and uh, we, we know that these are machine surfaces, so we, uh, what we did is we just zero this out, right? And we know that's 90, so then we'll just go ahead, we all go ahead and throw it on here. And it's got to, you got to make sure it's straight, because it does make a difference as you start to rotate this thing, the angle's going to change. And so we're looking for 13, and uh, we had 13 just a second ago. But uh, it's real close, so we're... We're within a whisker, right? So here's where at zero, and we'll go on here, and we're 13. That was our kingpin angle angle on the cart. So we're going to start here. We'll end up tacking these pieces together, and then uh, yeah, we're real close. Uh, we'll tack the pieces on, and then uh, and get the. Uh, brakes tacked on and, and uh, steering arms on uh, tacked on onto the uh, the yokes of the um, spindles here and then uh, then we'll go ahead and put them on the cart um, with the hubs and the wheels and all that stuff and the rear wheels uh, on the stand and, and and we'll look we'll look down down the cart like we're looking down Richie's bike here to, to you know just to take an eyeball look at you know what the what the uh, camber of the front wheels look like. That's my biggest issue. We're not messing with, with caster at all. We're just, we didn't, we didn't cut anything on, on the cart, on the axle on the cart. So um, that's gonna stay as it is. We, we made sure that, uh, you know, these holes are, are drilled. We drilled them in the three inch tubing for, I'm sorry, we drilled these holes in the three inch tubing first before we ever cut these out. And everything was laid out with the dicum right, um, scribed on there. And we cut and sand right, just right to that line that's in there, the scribe mark in there. So it should be pretty accurate. That hole should be in the middle, and it should be the same distance from here, uh, top and bottom, right and left. So messed around, playing around with some spindles for the uh, zip cart. Um, take you over and show you what they we're going to do. Um, we know that uh, with the old one, that it, it doesn't sit right in the middle of the, the spindle. It's more toward the top a little bit. You know, let me show you. It wasn't right in the middle of the yoke. It was a little more to the top. So we have to go take that measurement yet and figure out where exactly this thing needs to go. Uh, this is a bigger span than, than the metric uh, spindle that came on it. This is a three inch tubing, quarter inch thick. So we got two and a half in here. The original was the metric equivalent of about two and an eighth. So we'll have a little bit more um, ride height adjustment or corner weight adjustment with this spindle too. Daddy, always thinking. So uh, there you go. That's how these are going to go on. We're going to try to get us a little fixture going to, to hold these, uh, something that'll pivot, a 10 millimeter rod, uh, welded some uh, solid round stock, you know, with a bolt going through that'll pivot here and we can... We can, we can shim it up on that 10 millimeter pin. Um, right, it's gonna, it'll pivot like so. And we can shim it up on there and, uh, and get these things so we can get them welded together. 
So uh, we're making some progress. Uh, this another bit of this whole thing was this this width of the um, of the shoulder there uh, again to keep the overall width of the car no wider than it was before. Um, that was that was real important. We uh, we 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 took a good a good measurement off the old spindle to make sure we didn't go any any shorter or any longer at that point. Right, because that uh, that dictates, you know, where everything sits. So here we are, hanging out at Richie's, uh, playing around. Uh, thanks for looking in, y'all. I'm gonna go home. It's dinner time. He just got home and he's in there getting him some grub. So uh, I'm gonna go home and do the same. It's a little chilly out here and uh, just knocking her off, doing that belt sand and keep the fingertips warm though. That's for sure. God bless y'all. Gotta be hanging there. We're gonna get these spindles going.